All right, more simple stuff. This is in the Tools and Toys book. It's called Post Me. Part of our classroom culture said this. If Mr. Morris is with a small group, they are not to be bothered. But you know what? Some kids don't care about that. I've identified a handful of denial strategies that students use in the classroom. One of them is called justification. Anytime a student responds with, but I was just, label that. Young man, that's called justification. You're trying to give me an excuse for why you did the wrong thing, but you did the wrong thing. Yeah, but see, she made me mad. Now, that's called blame shifting. <laughs> what else you got for me, buddy? <laughs> so even though I've made the announcement, we're not to be bothered, some kids are going to come up anyway, and what they've got is an excuse in their head for why they're doing this. They know it's wrong. So I'm with the group. Student comes up, Mr. Morris, nonverbal responses whenever possible. That pretty much can conveys the impression of, are you crazy? <laughs> Mr. Morris, you understand. And with some kids, you couldn't suppress that. So I learned how to redirect it. Told my guys, hey, from now on, when you have a need, write your need on a post-it, put your name on it, come over to the table we're working, stick it on the table, and then leave. Go do what you can do. Now, the beauty of the note is, I'm not hearing the kids go, Mr. Morris. And I can see what the needs are and determine how important they are. Because I'm with the group. Note pops up. I can't find my pencil. <laughs> I stay right here. Next note. Kenny's bothering me. <laughs> yeah, Kenny bothers me too. Let's get over that. <laughs> Third note. I'm not feeling well. Uh-oh, that could be an issue. Fourth note. Computer's not working. Dang. Now I've got to go because one of the groups needs that computer for this rotation. Because if I wasn't able to fix it, they wouldn't be able to do the task. And now that we're rotating the next station, I call the computer kids over for a moment. Hey, how'd the computer thing go? Uh, we didn't get to do it. No, 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 no. It's your group's turn for the computer. Uh, the computer wasn't working. Why didn't you tell me? You said not to bother you. <laughs> Computer's not working. I've got to go. Uh, you guys keep reading. I'll be right back. And I go fix this donated PC piece of junk do we take it to the dump or drop it off at the school, hon? What do you think? What's easier? Anyway, I fix it. I always thank the student who wrote me the note. Thanks for the note. Holly, got your back on. I'm going to go see sick girl. How are you doing? Maybe not feeling well? All right. If you've got to puke, just go puke. Don't tell me you've got to puke. Just you're on your own with that one, right? And I'm back to the group. And I don't see pencil boy, and I don't see Kenny's bothering me, girl, because I ain't got time for that right now. But here's the beauty. Since you wrote me a note and your name's on it, I'll be reminded to call you over when I have a moment. Because if you wrote me a note and I didn't call you over, you're not going to trust that. And you are going to come do this. So there's got to be honor both ways with our procedures. So now that I've got a moment because we're switching, I call them over. Um, did you ever find that pencil? No. How'd you write the note? You, you borrowed a pencil to write the note and you gave the pencil back. You're killing me. Stick around. Hey, if Kenny's bothering you, move. That's why I start with that. You may move and work away from your seat. Because if you're forced to stay in that seat, you're forced to duke it out with her. Until you start to fight verbally or physically or come cry to me. Hey, if he's bothering you, I'm sorry, baby, but, but don't let him bother you. Get up and move. And they get good at solving their own problems. It's, it's a pretty cool thing. So that's the basic post me strategy. In the next video, I'll show you a modification. And although I explain that it's designed for secondary teachers who aren't meeting with a small group, it could be used easily in the elementary classroom in the same general basic way. We're just trying to control the flow of traffic and keep kids on task as much as possible, but still see them when they need us for help. Hey, thanks for watching.